Hmm. Mid-air perch. Aww. You're gonna teach me how to... Fly myself around? Ah. Oh! I have been neglecting these. Wowie. So if I just activate it, I can put it wherever I want. And it will stay there. You know, obviously at the cost of my energy. Or, you know, a battery or whatever is attached to it. Oh, snap! Even to the point of this heavy ass thing? Oh, damn! I mean, I knew these were, like, anti-gravity. We just haven't had a hell of a lot of experiences with them, so I just didn't really think too much of it. But that is pretty useful. The only downside is I currently don't have the raw Zonai device for them. <laughs> the only way I can pull these out at the moment is by my schema stuff. Should have brought some of the other ones over. Well, we got a few here. I might be fine. I'm just wondering where the chest is for here. Ah, it's over there. Yeah, this definitely helps out. If I can actually find a Zonai device for this. Our Zonai device dispenser that has these, I need to, like... <laughs> I need to get a lot of them. Huh? Although, I guess technically... Uh, well, well, maybe not. I was gonna say, maybe this place has given me a few of the recipes with auto-build, but it actually might not track them right now. What is going on over here? It feels like this is deceptively simple, you know, like it's suspiciously simple. It's just like, take the ball across the gap with floating platforms. Okay, but then what the fuck is this? This looks like it's gonna launch something. But why would something need to be launched? Or is this just gonna open the door? What the hell? <laughs> Why? What is... This is just so suspicious. It can't be moved. Moving this does nothing. Oh well. I, I, I guess I'm out. Wait. Oh, oh, wait. There's an activation switch over here. Oh! Oh! Okay. I see. <laughs> Rather than walking it over, I could have just launched it while the ball was attached to that platform. Gotcha. That does give some decent ideas. 
that definitely would have helped in certain other areas. Because I could just, like, say, use a spring and then, uh, one of these gravity pads. You know, say if I end up in a situation with a crystal shrine where I have to bring the crystal across the gap again. Rather than flying a whole ass glider or something, I could just do that. This was a good shrine. It was a good shrine. Big info. Big info. Brain. Brain cell. Expand by little bit. It's always really funny how many, like, like options of diversity we have in this game. And then at the end of the day, most of our problems can still just be solved by <laughs> stack wood, long bridge, slash sword, many time. Done. Like, I'm scared of whatever potential shrines would want me to combine absolutely every single thing Nintendo could think of with all the shit that they put in this game. I'm thinking like Mario level maker levels of like just sadism. Scary. What is that? Over there! What is that? Something resembling a pillar of light has appeared at East Reservoir Lake! I wondered if this too is related, or I wonder if this too is related to the upheaval. Well, okay. technically it is. See you on the other side. Isn't this the lake that I fought? Like the giant elephant machine in? I wonder what happened to those machines. Maybe they're just underground or something. Resting in peace. Because all I remember of them, like the last thing I remember them, is they all sh they all shot lasers and shit at Ganondorf, or Calamity Ganon, reducing his health for us. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh oh. Sidon! Sidon, help me! Side number to drown. Side, I didn't know that, like, I wasn't just supposed to head to the light, all right? I, <laughs> I was thinking, all right? Sidon, Sidon, please! Bro brother, <laughs> no! Is he gonna put me all the way to the top of the mountain? Hey, you know what? Fuck, it works for me. Woo! <laughs> Attempt number two! But this time I'll land where Sidon is. <sighs> hey, Sidon. So that is the clue for reaching the sky. Whoa. Are we getting some sagely advice from the past or something? Do you hear your ancestors speaking through your bloodline? Just now. What was that? Mm -hmm. oh, never mind. Now is not the time for flights of fancy. Just where could that light be coming from? No, I mean, this is the exact time you should be concerned about, like, getting potential... Visions or anything like anything that's happening around a mysterious light from the past should be like a pretty big concern But I guess if you say it's okay for us to not worry about it I for now But that's okay It's just as I thought. 
I can see an entrance at the bottom of the lake. I'll make a path for you. Dive in, Lee. <laughs> you got it. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, maybe I should have just glided straight into here. I'll make my way in eventually. Woo! All right. This is interesting. Now we're underneath the lake. Could we actually be getting a proper dungeon? I thought we were going into the Sky Island. I mean, that could still be case, obviously. We're gonna go there eventually, but... What's down here first, I guess? Ooh, 24 damage. Zora Sword. And then obviously, we get wet fairly consistently, so... At least in this area. Shoot. Everything I have is relatively decent. I guess I'll get rid of like this. Because like this is pristine, this is pristine, this is pristine. This is isn't pristine, but like I could probably get some use. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's slap an upgrade on this. So, if I do eight... We could get this water sword to 30. Which is pretty good by itself. We got going on down here. Oh no. Oh, okay. We're, we're not gonna drown down here. It's not gonna flood the entire the entire system. Whoa. Ancient Zora Waterworks. Well, somewhat feels like a dungeon, you know? Somewhat. more water to be released somewhere. Where could it be? Can I swim up this? No, it's not that thick. Although it's almost the size of us, come on, Link. You can, you could probably use your pinky or something to fly up through there.
Well... <laughs> I didn't think this would lead all the way up here. I was just trying to find a foothold. Uh... Huh. I think the water I'm supposed to go to... The next potential spot is over on the other side. It just didn't look like water was, like, leaking out of it. Like, right there? I guess there is a little bit. But is it good enough to flood the chamber? Zora Shield. A Zora made shield adorned with intricate ornamentation. It said that true masters of this shield can redirect attacks as a rock redirects rushing water. Is that like a bonus or is it just saying, hey, you can parry? Yeah, it doesn't sound like we get a parry bonus or anything. Ah, uh, okay, well now I can see the break, breakable rocks. The breakable boulders. Try that over there. <laughs> Time to play platform leapfrog. Mostly because I'm feeling like like there's an o there's an opening there, but the water's coming from there. All right, just in case we need to like make a long bridge up. Boom. Okay, we're good. It looks like they connect in here. Ah! No! <laughs> Jesus. Uh, oh my god, I did That's... <laughs> it worked, I guess. Yeah, no, you get the axe too. Get I gotta, I gotta be careful about that. I guess we're. Oh, we're gonna be going up this. Oh, 
sneaky. Uh, though it kind of seems a little dangerous. <laughs> Don't mind me just getting, like, pressed up against this grate at max water pressure. We're alive. Ooh, ladder. Who's ready to get their cobble smashed? Yeah. Too cool for Link to grab onto at the present. Hey, but gosh. I accept. Even if I may never make a water weapon, you know? Where'd my... My, bra my little bridge go. It was in the cutscene and everything, and now it's gone. Oh, the fuck up. Hold on, there's a cave entrance or like just an entrance over here. Oh, yeah, check it out just in case this like teleports me out of here. likes oh no Whew. get avoided buddy there oh I don't think I hit it with the fire no I hit it with the stick part bullshit I got it this time. It got me somehow. <laughs> yep. Lysol shield. And we're good. So it looks like this sword has a plus 10 when you have water on. Or I just did the math all wrong. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I don't remember what the base of this was, but the Lazalfo's horn only added eight, and now it's 16. So I guess this either doubles both the base sword plus whatever you put on it, or it just doubles whatever you put on it. And the Zora sword's always at 24, I'm not sure. Obviously, we are very consistently wet down here, and we were wet when we picked up the Zora sword in the first place. This is a very big room for there to only be a bubble gem frog. I missed! This guy's creepy looking. It's like an owl combined with like a rabbit. Yeah, that's cool. If this is just like a straight up double bonus, you know, obviously we could do some crazy shit like, say, put a plus 40 on this sword. 
get ourselves wet, and then suddenly, 100 damage. You wouldn't like me when I'm moist. <laughs> We got a dragon ring here. Is this just going to activate something that leads into the sky? The game has to process this for a second. There we go. It certainly looks like that could shoot into the sky. Oh yeah. We tell it to stop its production of sludge. Oh, it just dropped some water. We have done it! We have created the bridge between the two worlds! Waterfall! A waterfall descended from the sky! Link, what happened? Is this your doing? I mean, technically, I, I held my hand in front of a glowing thing and this happened. I didn't really try to do it specifically, though. <laughs> so you activated a mysterious device in the ruins. And then the waterfall appeared. Hmm. Ah, I believe I understand. To Azora, a waterfall is no different from a path. That must be the meaning behind Watery Bridge. Yes, it must. If we climb this waterfall, we shall ascend into the sky. Ah. <laughs> Link, I knew you could do it. My belief in you is as well placed as ever. Thanks, bestie. This water isn't going to cause a problem, right? Uh-oh. Huh? Yeah, you're hearing that, right? Here. Yeah? Yeah? Come here. Oh, all right, I mean, if you say so. Come to me. It, it is happening again. Is someone calling to me? What was that sound I just heard? Well, in any case, we now have a path forward. All that is left is to press ever onward. Link, if you wear the Zora armor, you can climb the waterfall as well. I mean, why can't I just ride on your back for old time's sake? You must acquire said armor from Yona at Mifa Court. I, 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 I got it. Oh, okay. You already acknowledged that I have it. An odd little uh, misstep there, <laughs> considering I'm literally wearing it right now. Hey, his waterfall keeps going, or his whirlpool keeps going, so you can go down there again if you want. All right, let's head up. Now we are zooming. Whoa! Low grav zone, huh? Alright, maybe this is their dungeon equivalent. What's up with all these bubbles? Why are they glowing like that? Oh no, there might be bombs inside of them. Is this deep enough for me to go into? Really? I don't got to worry about drowning in sludge, I guess. Where are these even coming from? Oh, there's like a little... Okay. Can I take that? Woo! I don't know for what purpose I want this, but like, oof. Hey, Sidon. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you like get all cautious. Oh, what is this place? My body, it feels light as a feather. This is a strange place indeed, but right now we must focus on locating the source of the sludge. Link, it is time to divide and conquer. Let's split up for the time being. 
Okay. I'll see you around, Sidon. It might take me a while to reach you. There's, uh... Quite a few different directions I can go here. Can I, like, jump into these bubbles? I just want to see if I can, like, maybe ride these bubbles up almost like an elevator, you know? Woo! Kind of. I mean, obviously, I brought this one down, so it's no longer moving, but all right. It's potential options for us to check out. First things first, though, we're... We're gonna kill some constructs. Ooh, shit. We got some level three constructs here. <laughs> Did I have something else they could do, like electricity? Here we go, shock fruit. That's what I wanted. The headshot. No, you don't get your stick back. That was a little slow. Nope, take it back. <laughs> I actually did some decent damage to him, too. Okay, well, we both missed. That's awkward. Ow! I was doing a combo on you, friend. You can't just smack me like that. Okay. <laughs> Gnarled wooden stick. Yeah, we should be fine. Hold up. Zara bow. Oh, finally, a Zonai gear. Soldier spear, a tough spear used by the Zonai. It is highly durable. It resonates with attached Zonai devices to increase some of its attacks, uh, attack power. Well, I want that, because I can just slap on one of these Construct horns. And, like, super boost it. I'm gonna regret, regret that so soon. <laughs> I'm gonna find some wooden boxes, like, right around this corner. Feels like I could get ambush going for this chest, but I don't see any constructs. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Everywhere I go keeps falling. <laughs> Jeez. Oh fuck, it's a Captain Construct 3? They wanted me to die down there, oh my god! I mean, yeah, sure, I'll take some pictures of this. I'm trying to get a picture of this sword, but it's a, it's a pain in the ass.
Zora Sword. Plus Lizalfo's Horn. Alright, let's go fight this guy. <laughs> yes, I got the improved flurry rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Captain Construct Three Horn, a sharp blade-like horn with a complex tip. It looks almost decorative. Attach it to weapon and greatly increase its attack power. Fantastic. Let's see what this club is like without the uh, beam emitter because meh. Okay, we've got a... Seven base sword, which if I were to combine with, say, that captain horn I just got. Could become really good. What's this? Strong Zonite Longsword. Ooh. Damn it. The Captain Three Reaper. <laughs> and then what happens if I were to put this spear with this? Hold on, I got it. Wait, what would happen if I put this longsword with this construct, though? It's actually not. Too terrible. A 21 damage sword. But that's okay. I'll I'll combine it with Soldier Construct 3. Nice. Oh, I've got so many options. I need like to find a, a good place to like actually fight Captain Construct 3s a little bit more frequently. This might be like one of the places I have to go to for that. If these respawn, which I assume they shall eventually. Uh, so I'll put Boom. I'm sure we'll find a shrine up here. So we can fast travel to the location later. Or even just a fast travel point. There are, there have been quite a few places where it's just a fast travel points there and not a shrine. I'm fine with that too. My lift! <laughs> Wait for me! Yeah. Ah. Fuck. Oh, I made it. Nice, 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 nice. Minus the fact that I'm drowning, but... You know. One problem at a time. Ah, fuck. 
Fine. Son of a bitch. 